Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new video. So in this video, what I'll be doing is comparing Lightroom and Photoshop. Now this is a question I get asked constantly and people always ask which one is better or which one I prefer. Now this is pretty much impossible to give a straight out answer to since they're both used for different reasons and they both have their advantages and disadvantages. So what I'll be doing in this video is pretty much going over how I see each program, what I use each program for, and which one I prefer for which reason. Uh, so hopefully this helps you guys decide, hopefully it gives you some idea about the programs, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so to start things off, I thought I would start off with a definition of each program. For the Lightroom one, I just took it straight off Wikipedia, and for Photoshop, it's just pretty much how I see it, considering what I do in it. So the one I got for Lightroom is, Lightroom is a photography software designed to assist users in managing large quantities of digital images and doing post-production work. Lightroom combines photo management and editing in one interface. And that pretty much sums it all up. And for Photoshop, the way I see it is just a graphic design program. It's used for retouching, it's used for photo editing, it can pretty much do everything. Uh, so let's move on to the similarities between the two programs. Now the first one is they both have the exact same raw editing capabilities. They both have the exact same functions, so they both accept the same raw files, they both have the same adjustments, graduated filters, adjustment brushes, and everything like that. Uh, so what you'll see on the screen here is I'll put up the original photo, then I'll put up how I process it in Lightroom, and then I'll show the process I do afterwards in Photoshop, just so you can see what I use each program for. Uh, so let's move on to the benefits of the two programs. And starting off with Lightroom, the first benefit is obviously the price. Now I'm not too sure how much Photoshop is nowadays, but Lightroom is only about $100 to $150, and I know it's definitely cheaper than Photoshop. Uh, so that's definitely one big positive if you're looking at saving some money. And the next one is file management. Now what I mean by this is Lightroom uses what's called catalogs. Now you can use these catalogs to organize all of your different shoots, all your different photos, and you can have as many photos as you want, as far as I know, in these different catalogs. Now the benefit of this and moving on to the next big benefit is editing large quantities of files really quickly. So say if you have 50 photos in one catalog and all of these photos are from the same shoot. So say if you do an engagement shoot or a wedding and they're all very similar settings, all very similar location and lighting, what you can do is just edit one of these photos, highlight every single photo and sync the exact same settings across every single photo. So this is definitely a huge time saver, definitely a huge positive for Lightroom and it's one of the main things I use Adobe Lightroom for. So the next benefit is just some smaller benefits like comparing files side by side. So if you want to compare, say, four very similar shots, you can just bring them all up on the screen at the exact same time, zoom into different sections, it'll zoom in on all of them, and just compare files that way if you're looking at sharpness or detail and stuff like that. And the next one is just small things like looking at before and afters. So you can either pull them up side by side or kind of split the image down the middle and just have a look at the before and after that way. Okay, so the final benefit that I can think of is a better interface in Adobe Lightroom. Now, this is just probably because I use it a lot more, I'm a lot more used to it, but in my opinion, it's just easier to navigate through. Everything's in one big tab instead of separated across littler tabs like in Camera Raw, and the interface just looks a little better if you care about that. Okay, so moving on to the benefits of Photoshop, and the main one and most obvious one is you're not just limited to the adjustments. And as I said before, Photoshop has Camera Raw built into it, which has every single adjustment that Lightroom does. Uh, so this is pretty much a big plus for Photoshop since you have the benefit of every single filter and adjustment in Photoshop as well as all the adjustments that Lightroom has. Uh, so the next positive is it's much better for retouching. So Adobe Lightroom has the spot removal tool, however it doesn't blend good half the time, it's a bit slow, and it's definitely not as good as stuff like the healing brush or the clone tool in Photoshop. So if you're looking at doing retouching on portraits, landscapes, cars, anything like that, you're definitely going to want to get Photoshop over Lightroom. And the final positive is that Photoshop, as mentioned before, has every single adjustment that Lightroom does. So pretty much when you're buying Photoshop, you're buying Lightroom, except for obviously the file management. Okay, so to quickly sum it up for you, if the file management sounds like it's going to help you out a lot, if you do a lot of shoots where the images are very similar, like portrait sessions or something like that, and you're going to benefit from editing you know, 50 files almost instantly, then you're going to want to go with Lightroom. However, if you're looking at retouching or adding lighting effects, adding more filters and stuff like that and having a lot more control, you're going to want to look at Photoshop. 
However, if you want to combine these two and have the benefit of the file management system and then the extra capabilities of Photoshop, you're really going to have to look at buying both of these. Now they're both really good programs, they both do exactly what they're meant to do, uh, so either way you go, I'm sure you'll be happy. So thank you very much for watching, I hope this helped, if it did be sure to hit that like button to help my channel out. Sorry for not being too active these past few weeks, however I've got about 3 or 4 videos lined up now, so expect to see those in the next 2 weeks. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.